you have to face. There are businesses out there, there are corporate executives out there who think that the right thing is whatever it is they want to do. Um, I keep look, pointing to this fellow in the, in the Hell South instance because I, I mean I've heard this story so many times, and there's somebody talking about it. Somebody wanted to do something, and everybody's doing it, so you slide in. You will confront executives who want you to do things, who will argue with you, who will say you don't get it, <laughs> and you probably do. And at that point, that's the backbone period. That's the time when you stand up. And if you are overruled, you got to quit or go to the board or whatever. If you think what they're doing is wrong, you got to leave. There's somebody I know who's the chief financial officer of a company, was, um, and found out that the company was keeping two sets of books. And they were in violation of their bank covenants on the real books. And she went to the chief executive and said, we've got to resolve this, we've got to go to the banks, you got to da, da. And she was told, no, we're not doing that. She tried to go to the board, they would not see her, and she quit. She quit the next day. Um, that company now is in a whole lot of trouble. She never went public. She never went forward. She's just actually a friend of mine. And she's in the clear. She's fine. You know, so which one do you want to be? You know, and I know, I know everybody here approaches this from the perspective of doing the right thing. But doing the right thing is hard. It's hard when you really apply it, when you look at the compensation structure and say, are people being rewarded for taking risks that we shouldn't be taking? Are people being rewarded for doing sloppy business? Are people being rewarded for things that are going to come back and bite us in the end? Well, if not... That's a good step. Are we encouraging people to come forward? Do I have the authority to tell some big multi-million dollar uh, uh, revenue producer that this deal ain't going through? And does my company back me up? Now, of course, they're going to say, why do you say that? But do you get the support? Are you reinforced? Are you a company that actually walks the walk of honesty? Or are you a company that is willing to do the right thing so long as you keep hitting the numbers? And, you know, that's who you are. You're the guys who stop it. You're the guys who keep it all under control. You're the guys who are going to save capitalism. Because capitalism, when it's reckless... And it, you know, it will, spin, it will spin out of control. It always will. Because you will have the circumstances where the people have to make money by doing things that are not logical. You're the guys who get in the way of the illogical. Had there been good compliance officers at all of the firms that were putting together these, these uh, uh, subprime loan packaged deals. Compliance officers who saw the deals and had to understand them and were able to ask questions, we would not be in the position we are. Firms would have survived. The economy would be in much better shape. But those compliance officers weren't there. And so we go back. I love you guys. I admire you guys. Be, be the brakes. And if you can't be the brake, leave. That's my message.